another Tyson Fury Glove Gate 2.0 mysterious unexplained glove photo appears online. And we're going to talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego. And I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, before I get started, quick preamble. I want to thank everybody who supported the channel and, you know, the true boxing fans. A lot of people sent donations and... You know, we're, we're getting people signed up on the YouTube channel members. It's going crazy. But keep in mind, we want boxing to be a fair and clean sport. So let's not lose focus of what this is about. I got another video, shocking video, if you will, unexplained video. We're going to leave it at that. And just buckle up because we have more on the way. So before I get started, I want to do a quick, quick, quick chronological order of the crime board there's a lot of people that said this glove gate 2.0 this is not a real thing yada 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 myself other people they're photoshopping you know they're just trying to slander defame Tyson Fury as if we don't really have questions as to what really took place Wilder versus Fury 2 right and the gloves if they're properly padded if they look worn those types of things so a quick chronological time a, a time frame you know chronological order of events let's go glove gate 2.0 i did the video almost a week ago five days ago you see it on the screen this kicked everything off i did a video entitled did did tyson fury remove padding and gloves versus deontay wilder and as you can see this is growing like a charm you see the picture you know 1300 plus likes twenty seven thousand. you know i've done the live as live gates but just so you guys see this video was done June 25th, June 25th, right there. Let's punch in. You see that? June 25th. So this kicked everything off. Right after that, it will, you know, let's go to the next thing. People start talking. Shout out to Jesse Carl, my dude. He says, wow, there is no denying that boxing ego. His glove looks like a deflated balloon that looked like a ninja turtle hand. That's a, actually a great analogy. Hashtag Glovegate 2.0. So people immediately, the, the video, look, June 26, people are already starting to look at it and say, hey, this looks strange to me. After that, Marcellus Wilder, brother of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, had come out and posted this. It says, you know it's crazy when you're great, you got to do everything that's underneath real to figure out how to stop you. They have to do that. And the most wicked ish about it is people on your own team will do anything for the hate slash money to help the ops take you down. It was discovered by doctors that my brother has a dent in the side of his head due to a blunt object struck against his head from his last fight. No glove or fist was able to cause the damage according to the autopsy. My daddy once told me if you pull a gun out on somebody, you better kill them because if you don't, then they're going to come back and they're going to kill you. The king is about to rise again. We coming for blood. This is Wilder's brother. So we have created now new media. We control the narrative, a chain reaction. Tyson Fury seen this and, you know, he, I'm sure he's seen all the videos and everyone's talking about it's the hottest topic in boxing. The only ones not talking about it are old media. And this is just a quick video to address all this uh, foul play uh, talk from Deontay Wilder and his team. Um, I just read an article before saying that I might have had some blunt objects in my gloves. Yeah, two big 19 stone 7, 275 pound destroyers uh, in each glove. So yeah, getting punched up the temple may do that to you. But you know, not unless... Uh, Deontay Wilder's own trainer Jay Diaz was in on a conspiracy as well along with all the uh, Las Vegas State Commission guys uh, who never left the uh, room Jay Diaz was in the room while I had my hands wrapped he examined them he was in there when he had my gloves put on examined them um, yeah and everybody else was in the room they don't leave you we all know this so everybody citing foul play 
bullshit. And the next time I'll put a dent in his uh, boxing career, end it, because it'll be two knockout losses in a row, bye bye forever. explain how his glove looks dented concaved inward but yet and still the wbc president mauricio suleiman backed tyson fury no investigation needed didn't look into Marie, uh, marcellus wilder's claims didn't look into ego new media glove gate claims but he's on record and he's saying tyson fury's denial of glove tampering received support from wbc president suleiman and he did an exclusive interview with sky sports saying you know what this is ridiculous Right. You know, you're taking away from Fury's greatness. Fury's the man. And it's a shame that people are, you know, just trying to hate on him. It says at no moment in either fight did I saw any I saw anything that would look suspicious whatsoever. After the fight, they take off the gloves. They're handed to the commission. So why, Mr. Suleiman, why don't the gloves actually reappear? Why, like, instead of going back and forth and just taking Tyson Fury minute of nothing video, not really explaining why his gloves look like that, or you just backing him like you back Canelo, why don't you resurrect these gloves so we can see? You know, do a public, do a, you know, Frank Warren little, there's not, there's not that much going on right now either, you know, with the pandemic and whatnot. Do a little press conference with a couple people, you know, and show us the glove. But instead, we just, no investigation needed. The WBC lent full report. They are full support, excuse me, full support to Tyson Fury. And again, if you look at and listen to Tyson Fury, his minute long rant, he didn't really say anything. I'm going to put a dent in your career. You know, um, British beef, uh, you know, a hit on the temple will do that. But it still doesn't justify pictures like this. Well, a hit on the temple from gloves like that yeah that don't look right you know no justification for this whatsoever now mysteriously this starts getting hotter and hotter the wbc re re they support fully support tyson fury with no investigation even though mauricio suleiman with the wbc just did an interview with the and he was talking about gerald miller and i made a video about it and he specifically said even if you're a murderer you deserve a trial an investigation, a thorough investigation, so you could try to attempt to prove your side. Yet Wilder was not given a thorough investigation. And we got new pictures, by the way. They said, I photoshopped the pictures, right? They said, oh, this is a photoshop. This is not real because it looks so crazy. And mysteriously, I, in my, if you go look, look at my original video, did Tyson Fury remove padding, right? Open this up. I sourced out, like I always do, the original source and the original um photographer's gallery that had all the video all the footage and all the the photos picture by picture now if you look at those gallery if you look at that gallery what does it say access denied what a coincidence that right when glove get starts to pop and get hot now all of a sudden the photos are blocked you see so the link, I had the link in there and then now someone's contacted him or for whatever reason, the photographer decided it's best that right now in the middle of the most traction that my photo gallery has ever gotten, I need to block these photos so nobody can access them anymore. But it's okay. We got screenshots. We got pictures. The pictures are all over the internet. You know, he's sourced out. So we're good. But now it leads me to this. I got some new pictures for you and you might you might not like what you see so look at these pictures people let's Tyson Fury's glove looks completely indented and depressed in on his lead hand, which is consistent with the damage that Wilder took to that actual ear. Like if you look, this is actually a great shot. If you look at his glove, 
it looks totally smushed and depressed in inward as opposed to puffed out like standard 10 ounce heavyweight gloves, which we talked about. These Paffin sports have seemingly imploded and it almost looks as if there's like, I don't know, like a buckle or like a branding object, like something you would brand a cattle with. It looks like there's like almost a, a pattern, like a grooves and indentures and stuff, which am, am watching boxing for not worn out gloves at, a, at the local pal gym or something that everybody has used for eight months. But these are brand new. These are supposed to be custom set for a multi-million dollar fight with two different networks working together that don't always work together fox and espn so for such a big fight you would see it would seem it would seem to me that you would have custom-made gloves that don't look worn like this but let me advance this screen so you could see so we could push in these are also tyson fury's gloves they look like the golden girls thank you for being a friend they look completely wrinkled and that picture looks weird, but I digress. Let's punch in. Let's punch in. Look at the man's glove, bro. It almost looks like like an eight or a B. Like what what are these marks? That that's what I, I'm trying to figure out, bro. Like his glove looks like a sonic boom hit it and it's like sound waves or something. I don't know if you guys get get what I'm saying, but to me that looks super crazy. His, his whole glove looks pushed in. You you have momentum from throwing a hook and you're trying to land on your target, of course, right? Why does your glove look like that? Like, why does it look like it's punctured in? Glove gate 2.0, people. I need some explanations. Look, so that's the full shot. So, new media, man. It's getting to the point, old media, they can't, what, what are you going to say? Everything's a Photoshop? So this is a Photoshop? We getting you in close. I'm getting you in close. I'm getting you in close. Look at that picture, bro. Tell me that normal gloves are supposed to look like this. So the WBC said no investigation needed. In one day, it's an open and shut case. Look at this picture. So mysteriously this other photographer with another picture that looked crazy you know that we that we, we we launched on the channel new medium that is now access is denied and nobody randomly can view that but what about this picture i need everybody in the comment section to share this video i need everybody in the comment section to describe what this glove looks like to you and i don't know if i can get in any closer Oh, oh, I, we got a little bit of action. I think, oh, I can. Look, describe in the comment section what this looks like to you. Right? Oh, there. Hold on, let me push it to the side. Yeah. That's what I need from everybody to describe what this looks like to you. How do you get these identifying marks and indentures and depressions? And it almost looks like you ever see somebody who's in college, like let's say a historic black college will say, and you get a Kappa and then they, they stamp them, they brand them. And then they have that bubble, that keloid. That's almost what it looks like to me. Like, I, I don't know exactly what it looks like to y'all, but I need y'all in the comment section to let me know what this is and why his gloves look like that. It should go away in a second. Like, look at it from different angles. They said the first picture was um, Photoshop. So everyone's just Photoshopping Fury. Like, you, you got to try You got to come with something better than that. Bro. You got to come with something, something better than that. Look, something better than that. And this doesn't warrant an investigation. This is properly padded gloves. I've been in boxing for years, covering boxing. I've covered everybody's fights, you know, Golden Boy fights. Top rank fights, PBC fights, Mayweather McGregor, cover top fights, Crawford when he became undisputed, Wilder fights, Wilder Fury won. What is this? Why does it look like a keloid? Like, let me let me know what that is. So 
when Wilder's brother is saying it looks like um, there's some sort of blunt object or whatever, he he said, yeah, everybody focused on him using the word autopsy, which is a misuse of the word, because this is not like um, this is not necro. This is not someone who's deceased. Wilder's still alive. I get it. But instead of focusing on, you know, the meat and potatoes of what he's saying, saying there's a blunt object. They decide to old media, you know, they talk about Wilder and, the, you know, a fighter who he's not an English teacher. You know, he's not a social science teacher. He's not a linguist. They rather focus on autopsy, his choice of words, the wrong choice of words, might I add, rather than the actual um, accusation, the actual information he's given per the doctor. You know, he said this is what the doctor said. And you in the WBC and others are telling me this don't need to be investigated. New media share this video. We control the narrative, bro. I, I tell me when you have seen someone's glove look like that, like where it looks like a keloid. Glove gate two is among us. And if you look at it, look at the damage that Wilder actually took to this ear. And this is just so you know. This is early in the fight because it's before it's before Wilder's ear was bleeding. You see what I'm saying? So this wasn't late. This is not like it was late in the fight. Late in the fight, this this occurred. Wilder's ear started bleeding and it was somewhere after this point. So how is his ear? Hold on. Let me just so you guys see. So this was before. Look, you see. Look, I'm, I'm taking you as close as I can get you there. Boom. This was before Wilder's ear was bleeding. Which looked like sinister. Like you have an ear canal that goes inward and his ear is just leaking the whole fight. So this was obviously some point in the fight. When this photo was taken before his ear was bleeding. So explain. Explain. Is this. What are they going to say? It's another Photoshop. And if you look at this keloid type of pattern or whatever, it looks like almost a B or E or eight or something. Now I can understand if you're not properly padded or if there's something in there like Marcellus Wilder is accusing. Right. I can understand why his ear got jacked up because it's inconsistent. It's not just puffed out in one, you know, uniform shape. It would be like it looks indented in certain parts and stuff like that. So you get hit rabbit punch or something you get jacked up it could be why wilder's equilibrium appeared to be off and he never fully seemed to recover from this so as you see this is clearly before wilder's ear was bleeding and this is the condition and broken down status of fury's glove which they're saying we shouldn't be looking into there's no reason to but to me if your glove is looking like a keloid like it's denting in and this is before you clipped him in the ear. Now I can understand the ear injury that we see right here. You see his ear, the man's ear is bleeding people, which you typically see more of the grotesque, super bloody fights kind of in the UFC. They're using this smaller gloves for it, four ounce, six ounce. Look at Wilder, you know, look at this swelling right here. I'm not a doctor, but look at the blood just trickling out of his ear. His lip is bloody. It looks like he's been mauled or hit with, I don't know, like prison style, like socks with um, bars of soap in it. Right? Look at his ear just trickling blood. It's in his beard and stuff. Now, if your glove is looking like how that was and uneven, then that kind of makes more sense to me why Wilder's injury and equilibrium was off and, you know, maybe it wasn't his night. So I guess what I'm saying is Glovegate 2.0, it ain't over. There, there's, there's so much layers to this and we're looking at everything and props to Wilder. The truth, what's done in the dark always comes to light, but props to Wilder because he was willing to fight through all of this. To me, this is looking like a public lynching. Post George Floyd, I don't see how this is not an issue. Look at his face. Look at right there. Look at his face. Do we typically see these injuries in boxing? Post George Floyd, I don't see how 
boxing expects to get away with this. They think they're going to get away with it where we just we don't even have to research it. We don't have to look. It's just open and shut case. The man's ear is bleeding with the puffy regular 3D glove. You don't you seldom see that energy. I know Andrew Maloney. He got a, a perforated eardrum perforated. But that's not to say his ear wasn't bleeding as he's fighting his opponent from Golden Boy Franco. What's up with his glove, bro? That's that's all I need to know. Justify this picture. And just for the people, they're going to say, oh, this looks too crazy. It's a Photoshop. I'm medium. So these assets were provided from the media library. And look, this is the picture with with the with the dent. This is looking crazy. This is a leaked picture online with water with the dent. Right. But just so they don't say, boom, I've screenshotted it for you. Look, same picture, same impression, same indention. This is this is an email I received. With all the sauce. There's the gallery view. Same picture. You see it. So what? I photoshopped all these pictures, too. Look, is that what is that what we doing? Boxing Ego New Media. I photoshopped all this. This all me. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> They're going to say I photoshopped the picture. But Fox Sports PBC used the same asset. I know you see it. Wilder Fury 2. History is made. Highest grosses. So they made a graphic. Fox. PBC. They made a graphic. They didn't say anything about Tyson Fury gloves look weird. They just utilized the same asset. You guys see it. What's the date on that? Huh? What's the date on that? February 24th, 1152 AM. Twitter Media Studio, which is the business side for bigger companies. It's the same picture. We talking about the same picture. Oh, media, you got some work to do. That's my time. Explain what Tyson Fury's glove looks like in this photo. This is not doctored. This is a photo that was, like I showed you, available to all the media in the asset library, like which is the, the norm after a big fight. So anyone who's media could have got access to those fights. So you let me know what's going on in these pictures here that we're seeing. Credit to the photographer. You, you guys are doing a hell of a job. The photographer is doing a hell of a job because they're getting angles that need to be explained. You, you guys are getting some crazy angles. But shout out to new media. We control the narrative. And old media, good luck. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.